What drives a man to confess his crimes on social media? Today, we delve into the bone-chilling case of Earl Valentine. In a terrifying sequence of events, Valentine attempted an unthinkable act, aiming to end the lives of his own wife and son. But the horror did not stop there. Adding a shocking twist to the tale, Valentine turned to the digital platform of Facebook Live, broadcasting his dark confession for all to see. In a world where we share our triumphs and tragedies, this was a confession that shocked the world. Social media, a tool for communication, became a platform for a chilling confession. In a shocking turn of events, Earl Valentine took to Facebook Live to admit his heinous acts. His demeanor was eerily calm as he confessed to attempting to take the lives of his wife and son. His motive? A twisted form of retribution, fueled by a disconcerting absence of remorse. The video quickly circulated, eliciting horror and disbelief among viewers worldwide. The public's reaction was immediate and intense with countless individuals reporting the video to authorities. Police were quick to respond, their urgency driven by the stark reality of Valentine's actions and his chilling on-air confession. As the world watched in disbelief it was clear that social media had become a stage for a grim reality. The Earl Valentine case opened a new door into the terrifying intersection of crime and social media. In an age where every action can be recorded and shared, crime too has found a chilling platform. Social media has become a double-edged sword. On one hand, it provides an invaluable tool for law enforcement, offering evidence and leads previously unattainable. On the other, it has enabled criminals to publicize their actions, creating a disturbing spectacle that can leave society reeling. The impact on society has been profound. It has changed the way we perceive crime and justice and has prompted us to question the role of social media in our lives. Does it enable crime or deter it? Is it a tool for justice or a platform for voyeurism? As we grapple with the implications, one thing is clear. Crime, like our lives, has been irrevocably changed by social media. How we navigate this new terrain remains to be seen.